We are not going to do this, Gregory. We're not going to do this. If Tyler Perry don't go on and give your ass a contract in a damn starring role on the haves and have-nots, I know something. Alright, so we're here for the Married to Medicine review. This be your boy Scotty, and let's just go ahead and get right into it. Now, last week, we were um, finishing off with Quad and Gregory. They finally come face to face after not speaking to each other for a couple of months now. Um, they filmed the reunion back in December, and they said they had not talked since June, so they had not spoken in like six months. They come face to face. A lot of revelations are revealed. There were um, allegations of domestic abuse and all types of stuff. Um, cheating allegations, you know, all of that. Quad pretty much addressed the interview that um, Dr. G did with um, the Frank and Wanda show in Atlanta. Um, she said that it was all lies about their sex life and about how she had moved out of the room and all of that. Now, to be honest, I don't think that Dr. G was like completely lying on Quad in regards to their sex life because for a long fucking time now, for the last two, three seasons, it just felt like Quad really didn't like her husband. It just felt like... It felt like she really didn't like her husband, but it also felt like, you know what I'm saying, she really wasn't attracted to him. So, it I don't know, maybe she lost attraction to him along the way, I really don't know, but um, at this point, um, I really can't tell. You know what I mean? I really can't tell right now, but it did kind of feel like she really wasn't feeling her husband at all during that time. Then... Um, we address the allegations of domestic abuse from both ends. I do believe that Dr. G was abusive and I do believe that Quad was abusive child. I really do. I really believe it. And I don't think neither one of them was innocent in that particular situation. I just honestly think that um, things will escalate and get out of hand and they will lay hands on each other. You know what I'm saying? Greg slam, slam a bitch to the ground. Choir picks up a knife and gets ready to stab a motherfucker. I know because I live through domestic domestic abuse. I've never been domestically abused by a man that I was dealing with, but my mother was. And as I, I always mention it in all my videos, I know all about domestic violence because my mother lived through it. So all of those situations, how uh, a small argument can turn heated and tempers flare and hands go to, go to swinging. Objects are thrown, knives are pulled out. I know all about that in Woo Chile. I know that they had some fights on their hand. Do I believe that Greg was possibly cheating on Quad for the last couple of years? I do believe it, but I do believe that Quad was also having her fun on the side too. And I don't give a damn how many Tyler Perry tears her ass cry. I don't think that she was completely innocent, but I don't think that she was, you know, the sole reason as to why the marriage fell apart and what I don't like and I'm just gonna um jump into my quad cape and for this one because y'all know that I love quad but what I don't what I don't like is how people like to nobody was calling quad a social climber or um an opportunist until Mariah accused her of doing so when it came to their relationship and you know everybody believes that Mariah's word is bond and all of that bullshit so they're gonna take everything she says as if it's godly but I don't think that the woman is a um opportunist. I think that Mariah only said that because the girl stepped out and became one of the biggest stars of the show and she just wasn't able to take it and that's just what it is. I don't believe that she was an opportunist. I don't believe that she used Dr. G for a come up. Just looking at them talking and looking at how awkward the exchange was at the end, I do believe that there was a love there between the two of them. I do believe that they did love each other but sometimes love is not enough and sometimes it's just too toxic to, to stand in. Sometimes you try to stay in a relationship for love and you know because of the length of time you've been involved with somebody but because of how many years you've been with someone because of how long you've known someone and sometimes you know the length the time the love none of that really matters it's all about your mental state and sometimes a toxic relationship will fuck up your mental state in a fucking heartbeat so at the end of the day you got to take mind over matter 
And you gotta do that because that relationship between Quad and Dr. G, everybody wanna text me when I start doing the video. But all that stuff, and then Leah, I think that was Leah that just FaceTimed me. Everybody wanna FaceTime me and text me when I'm doing a damn video. Oh, chilling. But yeah. But um, sometimes you just gotta let toxic relationships go. It don't matter how much you love them. It doesn't matter how good the sex is or any of that. Sometimes you just gotta let go. But I do think that they wished each other well at the end. And I do believe that Quad still wanted to say that she loved him. But she just didn't want to do it because she felt that she didn't deserve it. But all in all, it was hard to watch. It was terrible to watch. And I do wish them both well. But we both know and we all know and Team Scotty know and everybody else in the viewing area knows that they are not meant to be and they know it too so um after all of that quad goes to calm herself down before she goes out there with the other girls and the dr g topic is discussed amongst all of the women in the couples what i did not like was when you know everybody was saying how they were kind of hoping for a breakthrough for dr g and quad the same way that cecil and simone got a breakthrough last reunion but when the allegations of abuse from both parties came about that really deterred everybody from saying you know I don't think they need to be together. I don't think they deserve to be together. I think that they're too toxic and it's time for just this to just be the end of it. Point blank in the period. But Toya and Mariah were straight up defending this shit. And um, you, he never said he hit her. He never said he hit her. He ain't got to say it. The fact of the matter is they both admitted to abuse. So how dumb do you sound? But like I always said... Mariah Dwarf looking ass always want to sit up and make Quad to be the bad person all the motherfucking time. Like anything against Quad, she's going to fucking defend it. And that's what I can't stand. She's so quick to open her fucking mouth and say whatever it is she want to say about somebody else's relationship. But can't help, but can't take it when somebody does it to her. Now... They just sit there and watch them both admit to abuse. And she want to sit up here and act like... You know what I'm saying? He didn't say he hit her. He admitted to slamming her ass on the ground. Ain't this hitting her? Like, let's just keep it real. Toya and Mariah full of shit. I can't stand either one of them. I can't stand Mariah and her Kentucky Fried Edges. And I can't stand fucking Toya with her damn sandy cheeks from Bikini Bottom looking ass. I can't fuck with her. She just get on my damn nerves. But after that, Quad comes back out. After just, you know, taking some, taking a breather, taking some time. And she apologizes to all of the girls um, for the way she's acted. She never tried to shut them out. Um, she just had to handle things the way she saw fit. And sometimes you have to handle things the way you see fit. Simone said, my family loves you. And um, if you ever need me or C, so all you got to do is call us and we'll be right there. I do believe that although Simone got seven different faces, I do believe that she does love Quad. And I think that they really did have a really true friendship. I believe that at some point. Um, Toya and Contessa, they go back and forth. About their um, dissolving friendship this season. I do believe that Contessa really did the most with the whole. Toy hit me in my chest. Toy hit me in my chest. Toy hit me in my chest. She did try to make it sound like Toya hit her ass in her chest on purpose. And my thing about it is. Toya is a lot of things. She messy as hell. She talks too much. She always throwing biscuits at fucking Eugene. Knowing that he like breakfast. And she just do way too fucking much. Sometimes, but I don't think that she's that fucking malicious that she's gonna purposely hit Contessa in the chest knowing that she just had a breast augmentation. Like, what type of shit is that? Like, I just don't believe that. But as Quad would say, she was dead ass wrong for saying that Toya did that on purpose. But judging by their relationship, you can't really blame her for saying that, you know. Or her, for her thinking, rather, that she did that on purpose. But girl... Contessa, you know you had way too, you know, girl. And Toya want to act like she's innocent in this whole beef. Toya really started this beef with Contessa, in my opinion. It all started when she decided to call her ass out at the motherfucking party. She want to blame Heavenly for it, but Heavenly ain't got nothing to do with her being the way she was at that party. All Heavenly did was say, Contessa on the phone and she wants to talk to you. I don't feel like Heavenly was being messy. Now, if I said she was being messy in the past... I'm contradicting myself right now. I don't recall saying it. But however, 
that is not being messy, but Toya made that choice. Bitch, you over 40, and you made that choice. You know what I'm saying? You didn't even have to do that. Like, that bitch had a lot going on. Her breath, her daddy, all of that. Like, she had a lot going on. And yes, Contessa has made a whole lot of comments about, you know, she celebrates mediocrity. Whether she celebrates mediocrity or, mediocrity or not, if that's how you pronounce that word, that's her business. What the fuck is it to you? Okay? What's it to you? But Toya did go in and have her own contestant. No matter how much, I, no matter how I feel about her ass at this point, I do feel like she went the fuck in on contestant and let her ass have it. Um, Jackie speaks on Quas friendships with Simone and Toya. She really feels like they are gene with friendships. They just have been strained this season. And they have been strained because of the way Quad has been very distant with her feelings and everything that's been going on with her mayor. She's been very distant, so that has created um, a bit of a wedge. But all in all, um, they had their little positive remarks to say at the end about the sisterhood and about the whole Mayor to Medicine LA shit that's coming out or whatever. So, you know, I'm looking forward to seeing that. But all in all, if I could rate this season, I'd give it a C. It was very draining. It really wasn't that entertaining to me, which is kind of why I stopped reviewing the show mid-season on and off. And then on top of that, they kept switching the days and switching the time. We go from Sunday, then we go to Friday. Then we go to Saturday. Then we back to Sunday again. Then we back to Saturday again for the next two weeks. Then we back to Friday. Then we want to air the reunion on a Sunday to capitalize off the Housewives of Atlanta and their motherfucking ratings. So now we don't know what we want to do. Like they like it's like they're trying to kill this show on purpose. But it is what it is though. Um, with that being said, this is my review. Make sure you like, rate, comment, subscribe, and share. And follow me on all social media. My Instagram is below. My Twitter is below. My Snapchat is below. So is my Facebook fan page. All of that is below. Um, the next video you will probably see from me. If Love and Hip Hop New York is worth something, I will review it. But you know if it ain't, I ain't reviewing it. And it look like I won't be reviewing none of the none of the rest of this season, period. Next video you will see from me is my astrology segment. The very first astrology segment. Um, it's already been filmed. I filmed it on Friday. And all I got to do is go back and edit it tonight. Um, I'm going to do that after Love and Hip Hop goes off. But uh, with that being said, I'm out of here, you guys. Peace.